Hey fam. I just finished my first semester at college and uh, I'm just going to talk about it for a little bit. This video is going to come in two parts. The first part is advice, um, what I would tell people uh, if you are not in college yet and uh, watching a bunch of those advice videos like I did. I remember being in like my junior year and my senior year and I just loved watching all those videos that are like what I learned in college, advice I would give to people who are starting college, stuff like that. And now I'm making one of those videos, so yay! In the second part of the video, I'm going to read a reflection paper that I wrote for one of my classes. So part one, advice. First of all, obviously, don't procrastinate. I would say at least do one thing, like the day it's assigned, do something like write an outline or find at least one source or ask the teacher a question about exactly what the assignment is. Your professors want you to succeed, so don't be afraid to reach out for them and definitely communicate with them a lot. As soon as something comes up, like, I didn't understand that, say something as soon as it comes up. And it doesn't even have to be like if you're struggling with it. You can just say, hey, that was really interesting. You know, just something like that. You know, just talk to the teacher after class. I would really recommend talking to the teacher after class. Don't just, okay, class is over, goodbye. Another thing I would say is college is going to push you to your limits. You're going to be very stressed out at times. It's going to be um, very tempting to just give up, but don't give up. Since college is going to push you to your limits, I would say level up on your self-care. Take care of yourself even more, like extra self-care, bonus points self-care, level up self-care, even more self-care. When I started college, my first couple of days, I was very nervous and my social anxiety was bothering me a lot. But what I would say is, um, we're all in this together. Everyone in the freshman class, just like you, is just as clueless as you, and no one has any idea what they're doing either. It's okay. We're all just stressed out college students trying to find our way and earn a degree to get a career. We're all in this together. It's okay. Since we're all in this together, don't be afraid to like reach out to people either for help. Like, do you did you understand the lecture today? Do you get it? Um, do you want to study together? Don't don't be afraid to reach out to people. And not even for academics, but for like, if you're in the dining hall and uh, you see someone that's from one of your classes and, hey, can I sit with you? Or something like that, don't be afraid to reach out to people and just randomly say hi. It's okay. I've met a lot of interesting people by doing that. Just, hey, um, you look familiar. Are you in one of my classes? No? Well, hi, I'm Katie. You know, like that. Don't be afraid to reach out to people and say hi. When you meet new people and make new friends, just keep in mind that friends will sometimes come and go, and that's okay. Um, sometimes you'll be great friends with someone in the beginning of the semester, and then as the semester goes on, you find that you're just not seeing them as much, and it just seems like the friendship is dying. That's okay. It happens. Friends come and go, and that's okay. And don't be afraid to get help academically. You know, um, you have resources. Um, you have the library. You have your professors. You have your peers. Don't be afraid to use your resources. It's okay. You have resources available to you. Use them. My school has a um, student success center where we have um, tutors. Well, actually, we call them academic coaches. Most of the time, these academic coaches have taken the course that you are struggling with, and they can help you. Taking a little bit of sugar out of your diet and adding a little bit more water is um, what I've done, and I've found that it makes a huge difference. More water, less sugar can make a big difference um, as far as my experience has been. Organization is key. Um, I have a binder that is for all of my classes for first semester, but um, I think next semester I'm going to switch it up. I think I'm going to have one binder for my Monday, Wednesday, and Friday classes, and then a separate binder for my Tuesday and Thursday classes. Just figure out what works for you. Um, if you want to do binders, cool. If you want to do those one subject notebooks, a lot of people do that, that's fine. If you don't want to use paper at all, that's fine. If you want to take notes on your computer, that's fine too. It is totally okay to change your major or take more time to graduate. There's nothing wrong with that. This is about you. This is about your career and your life and your education. You have to do what's best for you. 
And now I'm going to read my reflection paper for you. My name is Katie and I am about to finish my first semester at college. I have learned so much about myself and I have improved my skills needed to be an efficient college student. I still have no idea what career I would like to pursue, but I know that health promotion is definitely the right major for me at this point. I have changed my major specialty from complementary and alternative to community health because community health is more broad. Okay, so um, complementary and alternative is uh, for people who know that they want to go to grad school and learn how to do acupuncture or chiropractor work, and I don't know what I want to do, so um, I switched it to uh, community health. At the beginning of the semester, I wrote an initial reflection paper. I was excited about being a college student and ready to get into it. I had no friends at the time, but now I have several friends at college, which is a beautiful thing. I have learned that even a simple hello from a friend is an interaction that I cherish to no end. I used to crave affection on a deeper level from my friends, but now I am perfectly happy with little interactions from acquaintances. My love for the people around me has not diminished at all. If anything, it has become stronger. The transition to college was surprisingly easy. I remember being extremely nervous on the night before my first day, and then when I had my first day, I actually felt rather relaxed and happy. I remember thinking to myself, this is just like high school. We just go to the classes on our schedule and learn the course material. The only difference is that the classes are longer and there's probably gonna be more writing to do. I have found that to be true. Another difference is that we have to purchase our own textbooks instead of the teacher just handing them to us and expecting us to return them at the end of the course. My approach to work and assignments has changed ever so slightly concerning procrastination. At the beginning of the semester, I was on top of my assignments and got them done ahead of time and thoroughly. Then I started to procrastinate and quickly realized that I could procrastinate and still turn out okay. I even procrastinated with getting to class on time. I pushed it until the very last minute, but I was never late. I was never late with assignments either. My mindset was that it was better to turn in something last minute than to turn in something late. And my grades are not bad, but they could be better. I have always been okay with just barely above average grades. The one thing that I have learned in college is that college will push you to your limits. To stay sane and functional, you need to push your self-care to the limit. I have enhanced my habit of checking in on myself, and now I am even more self-aware than ever before. I did not think there was more room for improvement for that area. And that's another thing college has taught me so far. You never stop improving. You will never reach a point where you have seen it all or learned it all. In my initial reflection, I said that my goals for college were to learn how to be independent, develop time management skills, meet new people, and become a better person, and grow as a person. I have definitely gotten a good start with learning how to be independent because that is what college is all about. My time management skills have not had much improvement. I still procrastinate quite a bit, maybe even more than before. I have grown as a person without even thinking about it. At the start of my college career, I settled on a very broad goal for what I eventually want to do as a career. To help people improve their quality of life as well as their lifespan. I have not at this point narrowed that down at all, but I do have a changed major. I switched from complementary and alternative medicine to community health. I can still accomplish my goals of helping people improve their health. I may or may not switch my course of study in the future. Sometimes I have wanted to drop out of college because I thought it was a waste of money and I could be okay without it. I thought that I could just teach myself things using the internet for free. But in order to get a career in the health field, I need a degree. And I do want to get a career that helps people improve their health. I cannot give up on that because I truly do want that. And I also want to experience college life. I've been excited about it since my junior year of high school. I need to keep reminding myself that it is worth it to stay in college and keep working towards earning my degree. My future self will thank me. Next semester, I am taking courses about psychology, critical thinking, nutrition, and chemistry. These courses are interesting to me and also important for my major. I am not looking forward to the chemistry course, but I am looking forward to the psychology course. I am taking one course with my new friend Jacob, so that should be fun. I think I should write some sort of reflection paper at the beginning and end of each semester, just to document my growth. Now that I have experienced one college semester, I have an idea of what to expect in the future. I will plan more closely, work harder, collaborate with others, and document my progress more than I ever have in the past. And I will keep working towards my goals and succeed. Yeah. I hope that was helpful for you if you are younger than me and uh, binge watching those college advice videos. Good luck. 
stay enthusiastic about your future, your education, uh, stay strong, keep working hard. I'll probably keep documenting my college experiences throughout my college career. I'll let you know what second semester is like and stuff like that. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.